Hi guys, welcome back to another Overthrow Disc Golf video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are talking about swing plane. This is the foundation to have consistent angles. Not just nose angle, release angle, launch angle. All the angles are built on top of this foundation. So stand up, get ready to move. Let's work through this. All right, what on earth are we talking about with swing plane? This is it. Um, so I've got Skeletor on here. I want you to see that's Drew's kind of shoulder level now, right? We've got this eye with the body. And then watch how he stays on that plane and finishes. Look, now his shoulder, the blue dots, and the red dots have switched places, right? But check this out. Go bloop stayed on plane, right? It's not like he dropped the shoulder in the middle of the sucker. So his right shoulder started down and his left shoulder started up and then boom, little switchy switch, right? So this is kind of the swing plane. The hips do the same number here, right? So we're looking at kind of this unit here, this kind of parallel unit. Now it's good to note that this is Drew throwing flat. Simon does the same thing on this tilted swing plane, as we would call it, throwing a flat shot. Now, just a side note, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to alter the swing plane for angles and all of that. And I'm going to try to maintain this swing plane. Of course, if you're throwing Anheuser's or something like that, it's not going to always be on this tilt but the concept remains, right? You're gonna finish the way that you started. All right, so notice here, still tilted swing plane, right? He's still got this, this bend here, similar posture. Starting higher with the left and the right, boom. Finishing the same way, just kind of inverted, okay? So later in the video when I'm showing you how to tweak some things, I'm gonna try to show you on this tilted swing plane the whole time. And then we'll learn how to alter all the angles. I kind of already said that, good luck editing, Mikey. Introducing The Loop by Overthrow Disc Golf. Uh, you can get this on our website for $599.95. Uh, you can do payments if you want, or you can just steal it from your daughter. Swing plane is level with our hips and our shoulders, right? So my shoulders, hips, level. So this is my plane. Question, if it's always level with my hips and my shoulders, how do I change it? How would you, how would you alter this? Okay. I can't do this, right? Because now my shoulders driving down and this hip squishing up. That's not an option. So how do we get into that tilted swing plane? Well, the answer is posture, right? Once we have correct posture, which would be knees bent, the butt is out, right? Butt out, chest over your toes, right? And you're towards the toes a bit, right? Make sure you're there. And naturally I've got this tilted swing plane, right? Stand up. Now it's flat, correct posture, powerful posture, it's tilted. So it's at this point in time that most amateurs say, wait a second, how am I not just gonna throw hyzer every time like that? Friends, listen to me. If you want to get good, if you wanna have good form, you wanna become a better player, you have got to stop thinking that way. What's happening is right now your brain is saying, Mm, that's gonna screw up my angles. Right now, the way you get your angles is limiting you. It's creating a ceiling, right? So you have to decide, are you going to take the short-term losses and it's gonna suck. It's gonna be rough for a while because like I said, this affects everything. Decide now if you're willing to take the punch in the face in the short term to get better, right? You might throw hyzers for a while, that's okay. But Simon and Drew and all these other pros are throwing their flat shots, some Anheuser's and their hyzers inside of a tilted swing plane. The mindset of someone 
who's going to improve in this area is, well, obviously there's a way to do it. So let me fix this first and then on the back end, figure out all the angle stuff. I don't care which one you choose, right? But you need to be committed either way. So I'm behind your decision 100%, but pause the video, figure out, are you ready at this point in time in your journey to just say, the scores are gonna get ugly for a while. That's okay, I'm gonna fix this. Hey, if you're still here, that means that you have decided to keep going. Great, let's practice the correct swing plane. All right, to start, we're gonna practice inside of our posture, we're all gonna be just a little bit staggered, right? And I'm gonna set my posture, of course. I'm gonna use the hula hoop, but I gotta bring in the assistant, Vanessa. I can't twirl. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could twirl a little better. Okay. We're going, this, does this look awkward? It's for you guys. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show this. You can go twirly bird here and with your arms, right? And make sure that the arms aren't flapping. It's just here. Whoop. Let's just notice a couple things, right? My hands are gonna trace the hula hoop here. I'm not gonna push the hoop down. That would be changing my posture. This is why bracing is so important, right? Because if you're just falling into this leg, you're changing the swing plane. As you go through, you're gonna have to swing up. We're stopped, we're planted. And here, my right arm's gonna trace this whole hoop, right here into my follow through. So it would trace all the way back and then I'd smack the coat in the face. Also, my left hand, uh, let's turn this way. <laughs> Notice the left arm in the back swing moves higher and then finishes lower when we go to tuck it, okay? Now, <laughs> this is where you've noticed a couple stylistic differences. Let me note a few of them so that it all makes sense. Okay, now notice, uh, I need a disc. Clash discs are the best, can't you see? Now, Nicolas Antila. Here, Garrett Gerthy. Here, Simon Lazat. Here, Drew Gibson. Eric Oakley. So within this plane, the arms, they can be bent. Oh, how about we do Calvin Heimberg and Kristen Tatar, Emerson Keith, right? Notice I'm not breaking the plane with my shoulders. Here's where the issue lies. There, right? Or lifting up above the plane, right? Now I've got my shoulders are not on plane anymore, right? So this is why it's super important. Here, I, you could choose, hey, if you like Kristen, you could be Kristen right here with your right arm. You can extend a little bit and be Ricky. You can extend a bit more and be just about everybody else. So there's a lot of options on this swing plane with how you go back. The important thing is that you'll notice that my shoulders aren't changing. I'm not going back here and lifting up and I'm not flat shouldered here. I'm not coming out of that posture and then trying to find the swing plane again and then breaking it. Right, so we've got a lot of options on this back swing. Okay, so now I'm just gonna practice with my hands bloop, on this swing plane. Here, here, forward with the hand. I'm gonna actually tuck. Notice how the shoulders are still together. Hands still going through. Feeling this, tracing the hoop the whole time is what I'm doing here. You're gonna have to get someone else to hold it. You can't have Dakota. Okay. It's gonna take everything within me not to make that the thumbnail. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Okay, so now imagine the hula hoop in Dakota. All right, so we're here, still on plane. Send the hand through. Right at this point, shoulders level with the hoop. Right hand finishing up. Left hand's down, and then eventually what happens to the right hand? It's gonna trace the back of that hula hoop all the way back around. So here, faster. And then eventually, following through. Right, my left hand swiping the same path that my right hand swiped. Swooped? Swipe. Swipe or no swipe? Swept. I'm pretty sure it's swept. 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 <laughs> swept. 
my left hand's gonna schweps the same <laughs> position that my right did, right? That's staying on plane. And then eventually, inside the follow through, we can stand up. All right, let's throw a few. By the way, Clash just came out with some sweet plastic. We've got it in our shop if you want any. You don't have to. Let's try to maintain that swing plane. My hand's gonna trace here so I can go through. Right hand finishing high. Boop. Reverse it. Yeah, it's beefy. Whoop. I'm the last. Found it. Nice. Reverse it. Sound on that. I warned you about the price to be paid. Can you throw hyzers for a second? Don't don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. Yeah, you could always just put one of those in your bag in the meantime. Now with the walk up. Point that we need to mention here is that if our posture is controlling our swing plane, when do we get into that posture? Well, some pros like Albert Tom or Henna or Niklas start in their posture and they maintain that posture throughout. I should be doing this with the hula hoop. Bloop, and now I'm here with the hula hoop. It's worth noting that there are a decent amount of pros out there that get into the posture right away. You might think of like Albert Tom or Nicolas Antila or Henna, for example. I'll, I'll show you Nicolas Antila here, right? And they start kind of in this form and they stay inside the posture the whole time. Right, from behind. Throw. But you don't have to start that way. You have to be locked in at least here, right? This step before your X step, you need to be locked in to your posture slash swing plane. Whether you're starting in the posture or locking in, either way, we're gonna practice our walk up and then here we are, side on. Now I've got my swing plane locked in. Throw. Locked in. Staying. Back swing. Throw. All right, just a note about when to come out of it. That happens during the follow through. So if I'm here and I swing, I swing my right arm. And then once my right arm's done swinging, it starts pulling open my chest and my hips. And then I kind of continue into the follow through. And then at the very end, we can stand up and now my shoulders are back to level, just comfortable, okay? Normal speed now. In. Standing up in the follow through. Practice that a bunch. And then once you have that, then we can work on finessing the angles. Of course, most of you are adults. You can do whatever you want. Now that you have the foundation of your swing plane, let's start building on top of it. Okay, first let's attack the release angle. Okay, it is true that a tilted plane is more towards hyzer than say back here, right? But back here is not the only way to get anhyzer. The plane does not dictate what the angle is. It just gives you more of a propensity. So if I have the disc here, and let's say I have my forearm rotated like this underneath the disc a bit more. Well, when I go back, if I extend like this, now that is more prone to a hyzer release, but I can stay in the same plane and also hit an anhyzer, right? I could go here. And so when I drop back here, again, swing plane dictated here with the shoulders here, and I can keep my hand on top of the disc the whole time. And now I can roll here, right? And that would be an anhyzer. Little uncomfortable, not a lot of people go that crazy with it, but you could, right? So if you wanna set up with a little bit more Anheuser, 
you can start with your hand on top of the disc, go through, have your hand trace the same line, and that is significantly less hyzer than if I start here with my hand underneath the disc. So we can make a tweak with our arm to adjust the angle if you're in good posture, but it's just knifing hyzer, right? Okay, then we might recommend, well, don't hold it like this. Let's, let's tweak it just a little bit, right? And then have maintain that same swing path with your arm. Here we go, next angle, we're gonna go flat. So that would be here, right? Flat. So if I'm throwing a flat shot, which rarely exists out in the wild, uh, this is also flat nose angle. Nose up would be here. Nose down would be here. So take that same swing plane, I get into good posture here. And now, nose down, nose up. Anheuser would be nose down. <laughs> Again, this is why it's not comfortable down here, but nose down, nose up. The thing that we use to adjust nose angle inside of our swing plane is we can roll our hand. Our hand rolling like this does not take us out of swing plane by necessity, right? The only thing that really takes us out in that situation and when people start trying to roll to get their nose down like this, right? So if I'm here, I'm rolling up here, rolling the disc upwards. So now that it's nose down, I roll my palm up, sorry like that, still good, still in my swing plane. The issue is at that point, if you go like this and you drop your elbow below the plane, now where on earth are you at? It's not gonna work, right? So you have to make sure that when you roll like this, you don't drop the elbow like this and tuck it up against your body, right? It's just there. Maintain that swing plane with the shoulders, don't drop all right last one is launch angle how high or how low okay back to our good posture so if i'm hitting and i'm hitting here right and this is where my natural release is how do i get my hand to aim higher within my posture well we hang back a bit more right so now when i walk up and i'm setting that posture here right this would be me like really trying to throw high here. Turn, the hula hoop's gonna stay basically where you're at. Boom, All right? So the hula hoop's not going down and up. We just tilt that whole plane back a little bit, All right? Not to be confused with throwing nose up, right? Cause we can throw nose down by rolling our hand, palm up on that same plane. Right, and now we'd have that nice high release. Let me show you. All right, so let's go through the angles. I'm gonna to try to maintain the same swing plane and we're just gonna manipulate this same, we're gonna manipulate this plane for different things. So let's start with release angle. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna throw a soda so that you can see a nice hyzer flip on this swing plane. And I'm gonna have my hand underneath the disc. I don't recommend you flip flop it for every angle, right? Set one and then change disc within that, right, to be consistent. But this is just for an example of how different people have different natural release angles. So here we go. Big hyzer. Choo! I'm Kevin Jones. I just throw way shorter than he does. Okay, same, same plane, but instead of going here, I'm gonna go here with it. That's a cookie, flat, or baby hyzer. Okay, so same plane. So I'm gonna set my body the same way, and now I'm gonna adjust nose angle, right? So here, I've got a peach. I'm gonna throw a little nose up. So that means as my hand goes along this plane, I'm gonna flip my thumb down or my palm down as I go. Nose up. Did not feel good. I don't like that. Okay, same thing, except now I'm gonna manipulate. Now I want nose down, same swing plane. Gonna flip the palm upwards. I'm 
much more nose down. I don't claim it's all the way nose down. Now for height. So my swing plane was here, right? So not manipulating it. I get this just kind of staying here, level with it, not pitching back or forward. We almost never pitch forward. But just normal. Nice low laser line. You Florida peeps will like that. And then once you pack on enough distance, you say, oh, I might, might be in Florida, but I could throw over the trees now, right? So I'm gonna take the whole thing, I'm gonna pitch it this way, right? So it's gonna look like I'm kind of pitched back towards you a little bit. Gonna try to maintain as good of a posture as I can, but still over it. Now it's high. Stay out of the woods, please. Thank you. So that's how we manipulate things using our swing plane. So we build the plane nice and consistent, and then we learn to drive it around. We can go nose up, nose down, pitch left or right. We can go high, we can go low, right? Wherever the plane wants to go. But if you're changing your swing plane all the time, it's gonna be really hard to find consistency, and your body's not going to enjoy decelerating when you rip your arm down at the end, right? It likes to have a nice long path to decelerate, and this allows you to do that as well. I think that's probably everything 99.9% .9 of people ever need on swing plane. So if you don't get it after that, you probably just need to put some more work on it. But if you need help with that or anything else, of course, we're here, our Patreon in the link in the description below if you need one-on-one -on -one lessons or form of use. Happy practicing, friends. Peace. Oh.